Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I'm Beaker. What's up? How we doing? Welcome back to the show. We're going to tell you guys a story today and it's going to be, it's kind of hard to, to say it with a straight face, but it's going to be about that time that I had cancer. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, sounds like a terrible story. I know, but it's not going to be bad, man. It's not going to be a downer of a story. Seriously, this worked out really well for me. It worked out really well in the end. I feel like nobody ever talks about this. So, hey, let's go. About a month ago, it was a little over a month ago, I found out I had cancer and dude, I feel like a completely different person from then until now, obviously. It sort of just like flipped my life upside down. And you know, take a minute to imagine that if a doctor tells you you have cancer, you instantly think like, oh my God, what? <laughs> like, I, I thought like, what did I do? Like, what did I do to cause this? Nothing, it just happened. And the first thing I thought was like, well, dude, like, like, like what's gonna happen? You know, I kept asking the guy like, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna be okay? And the doctor kept saying to me, don't worry. There's a 99% chance you're gonna be fine. <laughs> wait, 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 come again? 99%, that, that's the best you can give me? So you're saying there's a 1% chance? What? That freaked me out so much, man. Dude, if somebody said to you like, yeah, if you go to the store right now, if you walk to the store right now, there's a 1% chance you're gonna get uh, stabbed in the eyeball. Yeah, you're probably not gonna go. I'm not gonna take those odds. No, 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 no. <laughs> but the whole process was so crazy, man. So I went into surgery instantly, right after I found out. It was the next day or the day after I went into surgery. And this was the toughest thing I've ever had to do. Dude, it's a simple surgery. I, I can't really show you guys. It's kind of in like an R-rated uh, area. But <laughs> I can show you like where they start. Yeah, check this out. It's right there. See, it's like on your stomach and they kind of cut down in and like fish around. And it's disgusting. I know. <laughs> And after the surgery, guys, I was in so much freaking pain. Like, there's there's no words to describe it. I don't even remember it because I was like, I was basically just like blackout with pain. Apparently, I was just screaming over and over, I'm dying! Why are you people not helping me? <laughs> I kind of wish I could have could have seen that, but uh, I'm sure it wasn't pretty. After I got home, things started to get better, dude. Like, right away, I mean, I'm a person that doesn't mind just chilling. So I just sat on the couch and I played PlayStation for a week, dude. <laughs> you know, of course I had to take pain meds. I had to put ice on this thing over and over and over all the time, every day. But really, I just focused on playing games. And that has gotten me through so many things in my life. I mean, I know that that probably sounds like, oh yeah, great advice, B, just play games, sure, thanks. But dude, it's gotten me through so many things in my life. Anytime I'm sort of going through a rough patch, if I just get addicted to a game and sort of, you know, when I have free time, just, just put my focus into that, it makes it better, dude. It's, it's a great distraction. I think games are, you know, ga games are great. Obviously, we all love games. So I think I played Assassin's Creed Syndicate through that whole week. So after this week, guys, I came back and I, I made a video and I told you guys it was just a normal video. And I sort of mentioned to you guys, hey, I'm back, I'm good. And things were feeling good. But right after that, maybe a week later, things started going down again. This thing started getting pretty sketchy. It wasn't physical. I felt physically fine, but I just couldn't concentrate. I couldn't sleep. I was feeling like, like stressed out all the time. I mean, it, it was crazy, dude. It was like I was depressed all of a sudden for no reason. I asked the doctors, I asked multiple people and they're like, oh, that's normal. That That's normal. Thanks, bro. Thanks a lot. When you tell somebody something's wrong and they say, oh, that's normal. No big deal. Don't worry. How does that help? <laughs> that, that doesn't help. Thanks, but no, that doesn't help us. So I just kept going along, man, but I really was struggling. I, I couldn't make videos most days. I couldn't even sit here for long enough to make a video. I just couldn't concentrate and I just wasn't enjoying anything. I think it was just such a traumatic experience, you know? It's like post-traumatic stress, I would assume. I don't know. When you go through something so insane, like near-death experience or something really insane like that, and it just gets burned into your brain, it's hard afterwards you still feel that way. And I guess that's how I felt. If any of you guys know people that are going through something like this, help them with that part. I mean, that is the part you can help somebody with. You can cheer somebody up, you know? Y you can always do something fun with somebody. Play some games. <laughs> I'm lucky, dude. I have awesome family that help with that a lot. So, you know? So guys, in the end, it looks like everything is good. I went to a doctor's appointment two days ago. This guy thinks that everything is good. So it sounds like I don't have cancer right now. Woo! Sweet. That's how it goes, man. You just get through stuff like this, you come out the other side, you make a video about it, and you laugh about cancer. You know? That's how life goes. <laughs> so, anyway, I wanted to make this because I know some of you guys are gonna go through stuff like this, or you maybe you have already. 
or you're going to, or you're gonna have a friend or a family member that goes through this, or maybe something not so crazy. You know, probably a lot of you guys are in high school. That's the most awkward time of your life, man. Like, so much happens there that you think, oh my God, my life is ending. I can't believe this happened. You know, you, you get embarrassed about something or, you know, uh, somebody breaks up with you that you thought was your soulmate, etc. You know, this stuff happens. We're gonna get super motivational on you right now. You guys can get through anything. If I can, you definitely can. Because I am super lazy. I don't take care of myself. Um, that's it. Lazy. Don't take care of myself. <laughs> and if you guys are ever in a situation like this, I sh assure you, you can get through it. And I guess the real point is, make sure you enjoy life, guys. I mean, make sure you enjoy life. That was one of the first things I thought about when I found out I, I had cancer. I was like, dude, there's so many things I want to do still. You know, places I want to travel to, videos I want to make, uh, stuff like that. And I instantly started thinking about all those things I wanted to do, and I'm starting to do them. So guys, just make sure you're thinking about that at all times. Make your life what you want it to be. I don't know, I just thought of that. <laughs> Does that sound good? Make your life what you want it to be. Sure, sometimes things are gonna get in the way, but do your best. Make your life whatever you want it to be. And that's all I got for you guys today. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm good. Like I said, it was great to check in with you guys. I'll let you guys know if anything goes up or down in my situation. But from now on, just assume Beak's good. Anyway, I love you, buddies. I really do. You guys helped so much. When I first told you that I was sick, you guys helped a lot. A lot of you, you know, my true fans, just, you were way too nice. You, you didn't even need to do that. But I appreciate it, guys. You, you really did make a difference. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I think we'll do this again, man. This was fun. Cool. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs> are we still recording? <laughs> yeah, we are. Hey, what's up? <laughs>